One of the survivors of the dog's home fire, Sandy is getting stronger every day. She was in the kennels known as Adoption Row on the night of the fire, one of 53 dogs in there, ready to be rehomed. Only two survived. You could hear the timbers cracking, the glass was breaking, I knew all those dogs were inside there and you just couldn't, you couldn't help them, you know. I mean, I saw a few dogs when I got those two out, just looking, looking at you and it's like, I can't help you. You know, it's just, it'll never, it'll never go away from me. After Sandy was rescued from the burning kennels, she spent three weeks in intensive care. Her lungs were really badly damaged because of how full they'd been of smoke. And to be honest, the vets treating her didn't think she'd make it. But somehow, she did. And the stories of survival aren't the only remarkable thing about what happened that night. Thank you so much for all your donations. It's really, really gratefully received. And thank you so much for all your support. The response to the fire was unprecedented. Hundreds turned up at the dog's home to help. Thousands more turned to social media, posting dog selfies and helping to raise around two million pounds. Hello. As in, as in, is it, is it... So for Lois the rescue dog, that means a lot of people to say thank you to, including the call centre staff who gave up lunch breaks and worked late to take donations. I volunteered and just wanted to do my part for, for the dog's home, really. I thought it'd be a nice thing to help out and answer some phone calls. The response was phenomenal. I mean, it, it restores your faith. It really, really does. What would you say to everyone who helped? Where to start? Um, certainly thank you is not enough, um, but that's, that's what we can say at the moment. So, you know, from the bottom of our hearts, we would say thank you, you know, and we will be back, you know, we'll be back stronger than ever. We'll be able to help more dogs than ever. We're determined to be the best that we can be as a result of what happened. Where Adoption Row once stood, now empty land, waiting for work to begin. The hope is they'll be back up and running by the end of next year. <coughs> and with more dogs needing new homes every day, that can't come soon enough. <coughs>